guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would film a video of top five things that you say to yourself when it's actually society <laughs> is there something wrong with me and i feel like this is something that i said to myself is something that a lot of people say to themselves and i think it also stems from the fact that like when we're younger we're, we're like in order for us to know how to navigate the world like we're young we're children and we've got adults correcting us constantly about no you don't do this you do that you don't do this you don't do that and i think eventually there's something that goes in your head that says oh there's something wrong with me in society like we're taught to conform everyone needs to act the same way in order for society to operate so we're kind of taught from a younger age that if you do anything or you feel anything or you think anything that's different to what the majority of people say people think then you are different um and difference is usually um seen in a negative way um but also it, it makes you then view yourself as there's something wrong there's something not quite right here with me um when actually like we are all unique we're all individual um and we were all born that way and that's who we are and actually what is really powerful is truly uncovering that part of yourself it really helps to con contribute to the world and the people around us but anyways yeah so the whole idea that there's something wrong with me i'm not quite right like i'm different all of that this is a thinking that's been created by a society that teaches you that everyone should really be the same um there is a li little variations are allowed but ultimately we should be kind of on the same page and same level and thinking the same and maybe looking the same or doing the same things so um, I feel like that's where that thinking comes from, there's something wrong with me. Another thing as well with something that there's something wrong with me is that society kind of tries to individualise problems rather than make you look at the wider context of what's going on in society to make you think or feel a certain way. A lot of the times things are individualised to, oh it's you, something does go quote unquote wrong, um, that you, you perceive to be as wrong when um, not all the time, but actually it could be something that isn't really wrong, but society has viewed it as wrong, first of all. You have then kind of individualised that idea that I'm wrong, so yeah, I'm doing things wrong. Thinking that there's something wrong with me, it then kind of puts a kind of cue or it makes you then start to think, oh, like, let me see what other people are doing. So it, it kind of can create this whole mentality of let me copy someone else, let me take my cues from what other people are doing so then I can be right. Um, and then your idea of what is right is always kind of governed by what the majority of people think. That That's that's why like maybe, I don't know, say you are on a really big platform and the majority of people think you are wrong, um, even though actually maybe, say in reality, you are right, you'd think, oh, maybe there's something, because there's something wrong with me and it's something individualised to me, then I'm wrong when actually you could be right. So, um, but because you've got now got this type thinking that what the majority of people say is what is actually right, um, that is what can happen. And that is what also things that like have happened to me as well and that I've had to kind of think about myself. So yeah, that's number five. So number four is I'm not where I'm supposed to be in life. There is no way you are supposed to be unless society has told you that you should be in that position so this is to do, do with the fact that um society says um that you have to be at a certain by a certain age you need to be at a certain place be successful by a certain certain age it, basically there's nowhere you're actually supposed to be although you're saying it in your head in reality like in the re reality schemes of things you're born onto this planet and you're not supposed to be anywhere at a certain time Obviously, I am someone of faith, so I believe I do have a purpose, but um, the whole idea that you have to be um, at a certain, you have to be in a certain destination, you have to be in a certain um, space in your life at by a certain time is something that is very much imagined, it's not reality, and it's something, the reason why it's society is because this is a message that we get from society, maybe it's something that we get from our friends, or maybe it's something that we get from schools or universities or what we see is happening on social media that you have to achieve and you have to achieve even that what is achievement that's also defined by society so a lot of what is going on is a lot of these things that pe that society is saying um they're defining it 
and what that means is that if you see that as reality it kind of takes away the power from you to define for yourself what actually that means for you um so actually really and truly there is no place you need there is no place you need to be at a certain time um obviously you can feel that way and that can cause certain feelings and these things are very valid but i just want to say with this this topic particularly and obviously these are things that i'm this is what i have myself myself has discovered and thought about yeah there is no there is no destination you need to be at by a certain time there's maybe a des um a destination that you would like to be at by a certain time but who's who is to say that if you are at that destination at that certain time that things would be happy and things would be amazing and things would be great actually it might not be you might have be in that space and you thought it would be great but it doesn't turn out to be because no one really knows until you're in that situation um so yeah uh, another thing that we could do is related to capitalism and say how because with capitalism the aim is for you to be productive um, you're essentially a worker you're, you're productive um, in the society and that's the mentality that you need in order for this capitalist society to thrive you need to be working you need to be wanting to do something so um, an obsession with achieving something um, can then also obviously helps to propel society also obviously I know like with women we do have a biological clock so you might be like I want to have a baby by a certain time and that's yeah that is that is fine but I think for the for the most part um, a lot of it is very much something that is constructed by society and if we just want to be straight up on this there is no place that you need to be by a certain time no one has set like no one has made that a rule for you to live your life so number three is why am i sad when everyone else around me is so happy first of all that kind of puts you in the position where you are kind of like god and you're all seeing all knowing you know exactly that people are happy why because maybe you're seeing them smile maybe you're seeing them with things achieving things um you're seeing all that going on so you're in your head you're like everyone's happy and i'm not and then maybe actually what might happen is that you then when you meet people are like oh like try to be happy just to kind of or show and showcase what happy ha what you believe happiness to look like because you see everyone else is doing it so you don't want to be someone who's like down or like taking up you know kind of that type of thing but the thing is that we're not all seeing or knowing um what we see might not necessarily 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 necessarily, necessarily, necessarily. be the truth secondly society is very messed up like there's a lot of crazy things going on and it would be very interesting for someone to not at least feel some type of sadness because of the environment that you're in so i do i feel so sad so um a lot of the times i believe that environment can shape the way that we behave and the way that we are Say you're in an environment, you're constantly, there's someone just constantly being beaten up, beaten, punching, kicking, screaming in your ear all the time, like constantly. No, please, help, stop it, please. It would be crazy for that person to not at least be a bit sad or like react to that in some type of way. So I think we also, um, and that's why it's a societal thing as well. Again, it's going back to this whole idea of individualizing things that are happening to you. And there is like, the, the thing is there is that balance of individual and society, like we're, we're in this constant, what's it called? Like some dance battle. Oh, this constant like rap battle going back and forth. Like, like we're in this constant, exchange i don't know what the word is we're in this constant something together and it's both interacting and form forming our world some people have been able to build up a skill where the environment around them could be crazy but within themselves they are able to sustain and be happy but i think what i'm trying to say and the point i'm trying to make is that what we see is not necessarily necessarily the reality and i think that can be our biggest downfall and i think that's how media manipulates us because we believe so much in what we see 
that they can just showcase something and then we can think, oh, this is what it is. When really there's something else going on. Number two is, why don't people like me? This whole statement is based on the fact that, oh, um, you know the billions of people in this world and you know that they all do not like you and you are able to read their minds to know that they all do not like you and there's something about you that they do not like so first of all that's the first assumption secondly like in terms of generalizations i think this is one thing that is a societal thing we do use generalizations like maybe it can be in terms of gender like males or females or um it could be like race like white people black people it could just be anything and we tend to make these generalizations first of all because it is maybe easier if we're speaking to just be like generalize to just say these people but actually what this does to our minds and to our thought processes is it first of all assumes that we know everyone it then also allows us makes us tar everyone with the same brush um it dictates that what we've experienced is true for every single person in this world from that community and what that can do is actually can create an environment where you're opposed to people who who fit that certain quota or if it's just people in general so that means every human being you're gonna now think about them as that so it really takes away the individuality of us as people and our projections are super powerful so there could be someone who's completely not like what we think that person is but because we already assume what we think about someone can overpower actually who they really are because when you're thinking someone is a certain thing you're gonna take certain cues when someone says something you're now gonna because you already have that thought or belief about that person you're now gonna take it to mean it in the way that you believe so um it's a thing about our listening as well i definitely feel like when we make these generalizations it impacts our listening and people really don't talk about how listening is such a powerful skill because listening and what we hear is actually then forms how we communicate and how we talk to that person and if what we're doing is we're listening for and this is the thing like when we have these generalizations like oh males females we're gonna now be listening for that with when they're talking so that it can confirm what we already think and the thing is what we already think is actually quite flawed because if we like i said before if you're just basing it on your personal experience you could be in just a certain community which has certain views because society has created that and it's something that is within the society so when you get out of that community you can see actually that's not the case so i believe personally in trying as much to kind of unlearn these generalizations and this generalist way of thinking because again if you're having these thoughts like and these are things that I have also um, felt as well. Why don't people like me? Well, that's just not a reality. Do you get what I mean? But you can make it a reality because you are believing it to be true. Um, when actually there is no way it can be. It can't. It can't. You do have not met all these billions of people in this world. And then like when it comes to like as well, like it's very fixed. Um, so we one of the other things is we do is we um objectify ourselves and we fix ourselves and i feel like one of the things that we need to look at is like our identity and how we try to fix it so it's almost like we've tried to become a caricature of ourselves when identity is very fluid who you are is very fluid you are not one thing so the fact that you are not one thing as a human being and then people, human beings are then looking at these characteristics of someone and saying this is they're just this one thing and actually really and truly as human beings you're not you're very fluid you're not the same thing all the time you might not like someone but then actually you might end up liking them that thing that you thought you didn't like about them oh actually you like them now like it's just such a fluid thing 
However, these things of these statements of people don't like me is very fixed, very rigid. Um, and yeah, it's just it's not necessarily the truth. That does not invalidate your feelings of how you believe it to be the truth. But it's, uh, it's, it's good to also understand and look at and see another perspective. This whole idea of generalizations, fixing your identity. OJ like, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. You know exactly what this is. It then makes our worlds very much smaller and it can create us to be in opposition to a lot of people and to feel things um, that are might maybe a bit more negative emotions. Obviously it can work the other way and be positive, like, um, and also this dictates how comfortable you feel, how safe you feel, all of that. that that's number two, 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 two. Number one, I'm an introvert or I'm an extrovert. Now for me personally, I don't actually believe in those kind of concepts of introvert and extrovert as i said before i really believe that your environment can dictate the way you are and um it's again going to this whole idea of like we individual we individualize things that actually our environment might dictate and then we try and fix our identity and say this is who i am so ultimately i think like when you're more introverted um, I do understand that whole idea of you maybe you're more quieter and stuff like that but the whole idea of feeling if you're linking that to feeling not comfortable around people I definitely believe that actually if you're like more talkative or more 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 yourself if it's dictated by people then it's more an environmental thing and so actually what you'll find is that like you can say you're introvert but actually when you're around people you're super comfortable with you're actually not that much of an introvert you're talking you know you're expressing yourself a bit more and i feel like introvert and extrovert sometimes it's actually more so around what environment where which but how comfortable you feel about expressing yourself in different environments and that actually dictates your behavior and also if you are want to be more quiet and to yourself that's also just naturally like that's cool as well but you might find yourself that actually in one environment I do maybe like to be by myself and be quieter and keep to myself but in one environment I actually like to be you know and you haven't experienced all environments in the world why like why am I why am I getting exhausted speaking like I don't know if, if this is a health thing but why am I getting exhausted speaking the so introvert I'm introvert I'm extrovert I feel like actually it's society and um, I'm kind of make, making society cinemas with the environment that you're in, which I think kind of dictates like which way, how comfortable you feel to express yourself. And um, I don't believe, and I think in this world, obviously like a lot of the times you have to be around people, maybe people you don't know, um, and your comfortability around that kind of, will kind of dictate how you move through the world. Um, uh, for a lot of the time so maybe people are thinking of the time things if, if it's the whole day and most of the day because you're having to be around people in an environment that you're not comfortable with you are quieter then you'll be like oh i'm an introvert when actually it's just because of the environment you're in you're not comfortable and that's really what it is so yeah i think it's around comfortability so that's my number one hey that's not my number one so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've made it to the end, well done. You put up with my singing, you put up with everything. Thank you guys so much, really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.